Today, we're diving into a topic that many of us deal with but rarely discuss. Halitosis, also commonly known as bad breath. Have you ever felt self-conscious about your breath during a conversation? You're not alone. This widespread issue can significantly impact our social interactions and self-esteem, leaving us questioning our confidence. But don't worry, we're here to uncover the causes and explore powerful effective treatments to help you breathe easy and feel confident again. But first, what exactly is halitosis? The term comes from Latin, where halitus means breathed air, and osis means a pathologic condition. In simpler terms, it's bad breath. This unpleasant odor from our mouth can stem from various sources, but the main culprits are volatile sulfur compounds, VSCs like hydrogen sulfide, methyl mercaptan, and dimethyl sulfide. These compounds are produced by gram-negative and anaerobic bacteria, often found in periodontal infections. Around 80 to 85% of halitosis cases originate in the mouth. When food particles and dead cells get trapped, especially on the tongue, bacteria break them down, producing these smelly compounds. This can happen even in people with good oral hygiene. But what's the science behind this phenomenon? At its core, halitosis is often caused by the breakdown of certain substances in our mouth, leading to the production of foul-smelling compounds. The decarboxylation of amino acids, such as acetic acid and propionic acid, leads to malodorous amines, like putrescine and cadaverin and other volatile aromatic compounds, like indole and scatol. These compounds are not just unpleasant. They are also associated with decay and putrefaction, which is why they have such a strong odor. Physiological halitosis, which often occurs upon waking, is particularly interesting. During the night, saliva production decreases, leading to a dry mouth. This dry environment allows bacteria to thrive, particularly those that break down food particles and dead cells. As these bacteria metabolize the trapped food and cellular debris, they produce the foul-smelling compounds. And since the surface of the tongue is covered with tiny structures called papillae, it traps food particles, dead cells, and bacteria. The desquamation of epithelial cells from the tongue, along with leukocytes from periodontal pockets, contributes to the buildup of material that bacteria can feed on. And when this biofilm is allowed to accumulate, it prevents saliva from effectively cleansing the tongue. Hence, anaerobic bacteria proliferates, leading to the production of volatile sulfur compounds that cause bad breath. Now that we have delved into the underlying causes of bad breath, it's time to shift our focus to the various treatment options available to combat this common issue. What strategies can we employ to effectively manage halitosis and restore confidence? The most common cause of halitosis is poor dental hygiene. Regularly cleaning your tongue is crucial because the biofilm on your tongue is a hotspot for odor-causing bacteria. Using a tongue scraper instead of a toothbrush is more effective because it can remove more of the bacteria and debris from your tongue. Studies have shown that tongue scraping can reduce VSC levels by up to 42%. By scraping your tongue, you're essentially removing the layer of bacteria and dead cells that contribute to bad breath. Mouthwashes are another great tool for managing bad breath. Are you using the right mouthwash? Look for those containing chlorhexidine, zinc, or essential oils. These ingredients can kill bacteria and neutralize VSCs. For example, Listerine kills odor-causing microorganisms, and mouthwashes with chlorine dioxide oxidize VSCs directly. Chlorhexidine is particularly effective, but may cause some side effects like staining of teeth. Natural remedies can also play a significant role in managing halitosis. One effective method is oil pulling. Swishing a tablespoon of coconut oil in your mouth for 15 to 20 minutes is believed to remove toxins and improve your breath. Coconut oil contains lauric acid, which has been shown to effectively kill harmful bacteria in the mouth including those responsible for bad breath. Green tea is another fantastic natural remedy. It's rich in antioxidants, particularly catechins like epigallocatechin galat EGCG, which have been shown to inhibit the growth of bacteria associated with bad breath. A study showed that EGCG triggers cells in the gums to release an antimicrobial chemical. This chemical targets Porphyromonas gingivalis, which is a type of bacteria that contributes to gum disease and halitosis. Drinking green tea can help reduce the number of bacteria in the mouth, 
thereby decreasing the production of volatile sulfur compounds. Additionally, the natural polyphenols in green tea can help neutralize bad odors and promote overall oral health. Probiotics are beneficial bacteria that can help balance the microbiome in your mouth and gut. Consuming probiotic-rich foods like yogurt and kefir can significantly reduce levels of harmful bacteria associated with bad breath. Research has shown that regular consumption of probiotic yogurt can decrease the presence of Streptococcus mutans, a bacteria linked to bad breath and tooth decay. Kefir, a fermented milk drink similar to yogurt, is even richer in probiotics and can further enhance oral health by lowering harmful bacteria levels. Creating a mouth rinse with natural herbs like tea tree oil, clove, and basil can also reduce bacteria and inflammation in the mouth. Tea tree oil is known for its strong antimicrobial properties, making it effective against the bacteria that cause bad breath. To make a tea tree oil rinse, dilute a drop of tea tree oil in a few drops of vegetable oil and put this into a cup of warm water. Swish the solution in the mouth for 30 seconds, but avoid swallowing tea tree oil as it can be toxic if a person ingests it. Clove oil also has antiseptic properties, helping to reduce bacteria and freshen breath. Herbs like parsley, cilantro, and dill can naturally freshen your breath due to their essential oils. Chewing on fresh herbs not only masks odors, but also provides antimicrobial benefits that target the bacteria responsible for bad breath. These herbs can be easily incorporated into meals or consumed raw for a quick breath freshener. Cinnamon oil is another effective natural remedy due to its powerful antibacterial properties. Studies have shown that cinnamon oil can reduce levels of VSCs in the mouth without harming gum cells. You can use cinnamon oil in a mouth rinse or chew on a small piece of cinnamon stick to freshen your breath naturally. Its pleasant aroma also helps mask any unpleasant odors. Chewing on fennel seeds or cloves after meals can help freshen your breath. Fennel seeds have antimicrobial properties and a sweet flavor that can mask bad odors, while cloves contain eugeniol, which has antiseptic qualities that reduce bacteria in the mouth. Both options can be an easy and effective way to combat bad breath after eating. Apple cider vinegar can be used as a mouth rinse to combat bad breath. Diluting a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in a glass of water creates an acidic environment that is inhospitable to bacteria. This can help reduce their growth and improve breath freshness. However, it's essential to rinse with water afterward to protect tooth enamel from the acidity. Activated charcoal is known for its ability to absorb toxins and impurities. Using toothpaste that contains activated charcoal can help clean your mouth and reduce bad breath by binding to odor-causing compounds. However, it's important to use activated charcoal products in moderation, as excessive use can lead to enamel erosion. Making some dietary adjustments can also help manage bad breath. Staying hydrated is crucial. Drinking plenty of water throughout the day keeps your mouth moist and washes away food particles that bacteria feed on. A dry mouth can exacerbate bad breath, so keeping hydrated helps maintain a healthy balance of bacteria in your mouth. Eating crunchy fruits and vegetables like apples, carrots, and celery can help clean your teeth naturally and stimulate saliva production. These foods act as natural toothbrushes, scrubbing away food particles and plaque from your teeth. Bad breath can be embarrassing, but understanding its causes and having effective treatment options can make a significant difference. Regular oral hygiene, including tongue cleaning and using the right mouthwashes, along with natural remedies, can help keep your breath fresh and your confidence high. So the next time you're worried about your breath, remember these tips and take action. And if you found this information helpful, please don't forget to subscribe and share this with your friends and family. Together we can tackle halitosis head on.